Well, it is going to be history making tonight as Barack Obama takes center stage and accepts the uh, nomination officially for the President of the United States. Mark Curtis has been there in Denver all week long. Uh, boy, Clinton, President, former President Bill Clinton has always been a fantastic speaker. What is the word on how he did last night in winning over the Hillary Clinton supporters? Well, obviously, the crowd really liked uh, Bill Clinton, Pam. You have to remember, over the course of the last 28 years, only one Democrat has uh, been in the White House. That's uh, the eight years that Bill Clinton served. And so uh, Democrats uh, still love him, even though it was a tough-fought campaign. And uh, I was uh, near the floor of the uh, arena when he walked on stage last night, and, uh, I mean, the earth shook. He had perhaps the funniest line of the night, too. He said the campaign between Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama was so heated that it actually increased global warming. And and that got a big laugh and at the same time I think kind of broke some of the uh, tension and broke the ice between the Obama and Clinton camps because there are still some hard feelings there and there probably will be for some time to come. As, a, uh, as an economics major I was certainly happy to hear him really talking about the economy because for the most part I mean really the economy affects every American every day more so than what's going on in Afghanistan and Iraq. I would think this is what the candidates are going to have to hit hard. What are we going to do about the economy? Oh, I think every U.S. Uh, presidential election is about the economy. Recall in 1992, Bill Clinton had the phrase, it's the economy, stupid. Uh, for a Republican, Ronald Reagan back in 1980 asked the American people, are you better off today than you were four years ago? And for most people, the answer was no. So, you know, this is classic American politics. Sure, there's a war in Iraq, there's trouble in Afghanistan and Georgia and Russia and a lot of overseas conflicts. But it really comes down to it. Uh, most polls indicate that people People in this country vote pocketbook issues and the economy is always the number one issue in a presidential campaign. I suspect that will remain the same this year as well, Pam. What's the significance of having tonight's acceptance speech outside in the stadium as opposed to the convention floor and allowing some 35,000 tickets, I think, to the regular public to get in and watch this? Well, all in all, there are going to be 75,000 people there at the Invesco Field tonight at Mile High Stadium. Uh, you know, it will allow for helicopter shots and, you know, much like a football game, some spectacular uh, overhead shots. And, and um, you know, you're talking about a crowd that is over twice the size, perhaps approaching three times the size of uh, the crowds that have been in the Pepsi Center behind me for the last uh, three nights. So uh, you add all that together and the excitement and the acceptance speech. And so this is really going to be, uh, could be a remarkable event, and, and perhaps the most positive thing about it is there's no rain in the forecast. That had been a big concern about moving the acceptance speech outdoors. You know, the other day we just had some tornadoes here in Denver, so you never know, but the uh, skies are clear and blue and uh, no rain in the forecast, and that's good. Yeah, that is the good news. Let's turn to um, Senator John McCain. We had word that he had picked his vice presidential candidate. Now we're getting word that he hasn't. Um, what do you think Republicans are looking for in his vice presidential presidential candidate. You know, first and foremost, because John McCain will be 72 years old tomorrow, the most important thing to a lot of people is picking someone who has the experience to run the country. Uh, you know, should John McCain's health take a turn for the worse, or you know, should he die in office, God forbid? But, it, you know, that's the kind of thing that when you're 72 years old versus Barack Obama, who's 47, that enters into the picture perhaps more so. So I think uh, McCain is looking for someone with experience, someone who um, perhaps will pick up some uh, ideological balance because McCain is a moderate and he needs to appeal more to the conservative wing of the party. There is still the possibility that McCain might pick a female running mate because uh, there are a lot of disgruntled supporters of Hillary Clinton out there who have suggested they might vote for McCain. So a lot of different issues around the table. But, you know, I think going back to your last question, Pam, McCain needs to pick someone who's strong on the economy because by his own admission, the economy is his weakness. McCain is strongest on military and foreign affairs. And again, he, he thinks his weakness is the economy. So he probably has to pick someone in that area, and perhaps that's where Mitt Romney might help him out. Yeah, that's a great point. All right, thanks, Mark. It continues to remain interesting. And, Mark, you, you've been writing. He's been writing some nice comprehensive articles and keeping uh, a great blog from Denver there. So markcurtismedia.com. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Pam. Let's go back to Tori and Dave.